for years I always had that thing like I just wanted to I mean this is the second video the first video was the opener and stuff like that and even when I was in like like high school like you know I, I remember like going like something with my nose like going <coughs> like trying to get get something moving in it and everything so I mean the thing with that is like you know just you know I mean take care of it beforehand like blow your nose and all that but I'm, I'm rushing when I came in here to um to, to put stuff back I did get, I, well I got a tiny little bit of newspapers not much and that's when I seen like like Colin Quinn was on, but I was like I, I was didn't have my, my car door was open because I you know I I had to make two trips, and I got the car door open and you know, and I want to like because I got a message you know this morning and you know last night too I mean like on the on the the Statue of Liberty thing there from from Johnny and I'm just like wondering everything okay like you know because I like I like to get back to people like you know. I mean, I, I, I'm like that. Like, I, I see threads and stuff where, like, say, like, Strutter. You know, Gary Stevens, like, you know, he's out there and, and Matt Schroeder, you know, they're out there. You know, they're, they're even busy. You know, they got a show. They're backstage. But, they you know, they get they get back to people. Like, you know, people say, you know, love you, man, everything. Have a great show, this, that, and everything. Like, you know, we're, we would love to see something, some kind of highlights from the show. It's a good band. We followed them. We followed him when Jerry was on there. I don't know. Maybe they had different Paul Stanleys and stuff like that. I, I have no idea. But I know Matt has this beautiful black guitar. I, w I would say Les Paul. I mean, it looks like a Les Paul. When I was in a band, uh, my, my guitar player had, you know, it was that same sort of guitar. Sort of like the Ted Nugent looking, you know. On the album Screen Dream. You know, if my memory serves me correctly. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, sometimes I'll go, <laughs> like that, and never really a big deal, no pains, no migraines, no headaches, stuff like that, it's just, uh, I don't know. One time, I, I tried to do something about it, I, I think I was like 28, and it, it was a summer, I had, had been working at Valenius for a long time. And um, I decided it to, well, my uncle, my uncle had this big company, and I said, um, I said, come on, man, make me a flag man or something like that. I remember we were doing, I was a flag man, and then, like, you know, with the construction work, it was, it was unbelievable. I was so uh, petrified, you know, bulldozers over my head and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they just say, here, flag all this stuff, I don't know, you got to, like, like, outline, like, something, like, just put up these things. And I worked all like hot, like hard and hot sun and all that. There's a Chinese restaurant around the corner. I used to go there and everything. I had the work boots on. It was manual labor, manual labor, like you know. And why am I bringing that up? Well, because they were building this thing. It was this medical facility in Skodak. And after, you know, like the next year, well, I went back to Blenny's. I, I gave it a go, for, like for a couple weeks. I said, I can't do this. Um. So it was a medical facility, it was, and uh, I was like, I was like, why, why do I feel like this sometimes? Like on certain days, like you know, like weather. And so I went to this, like you know, the, this nose guy, and he, he's like, oh, just spray this in there, or do this, take these pills. I say, all right, you know, all right. And um, I remember taking them. I just woke up. And I was, I, I couldn't even breathe. Like you know, it was like I was having like a reaction to it. So it was like then and there, like I just, I was always reluctant and, uh, you know, would always want to do things different, you know, any, I never really trust the medical, I, hey, I don't want to like segue into like, you know, to like what what's going on, what, what, you know, everybody's like, you know, take the medical marijuana for everything, I just, I don't do it, I'm not knocking it, just like on the opener, I said, you know, everyone is, is different on, on different situations, you know, and they're not going to give in, everything like that. But it's just, you know, it's just something I don't like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with it. When I was in high school, like I said, it, it was okay. Time for a coffee. But, um, I know, it's just, it, don't get me wrong. It, it's a cool feeling and all that kind of stuff. But it slows things down and really considerably. And it makes me, like, uh, really paranoid for some reason. I don't know. Other people, it don't. It mellows them out, chills them, it relaxes them, everything like that. But the effects they have on I me, mean, I, I could be allergic to it, I don't know. 
I mean, just like Roger Daltrey said when he was at that concert. He said, what are you guys doing? Smoking? He's not against or anything like that. It's just he has allergies to it and stuff like that. I mean, the last time I did it, I think I was around like 27 or something like that. Maybe that brought on like the, the thing. I don't know. Again, we're no, no brain surgeons here. We're, you know, we're no doctors. I should be talking to a doctor pretty soon, but it's not for any kind of medical reasons. It's just uh, my aunt, who is 90, she moved in with her um, her son, who was a doctor. And he had some stuff to give me, but I, I didn't know, I didn't recognize his number. I was in the kitchen making a Boston omelet, and uh, I see the phone thing. I mean, it said, out of, out of area, you know, whatever it said. And I said, you know, it's probably one of those things, because, you know, you get them. It's like, you know, I got your uh, your healthy package here. Hello, seniors, you know, this, this arrived, this, that. Hi, I'm from the, uh, the National Grid, I'm, I'm from this, I'm here, all, all day long. I mean, I got it blocked, you know, with the Time Warner, but certain ones go through, most of them don't, just get one ring, but for, for some reason, a, f a few are able to get in, despite all that. <clears throat> and in this area, you ever get the police guy, he's always calling you up. Maybe that is legit. Anyway, we did give Amish, we did give uh, respect to... Um, there's a fine job that they're doing here. I mean, but I don't know. And now it's hard to enjoy it because because they're like they see you like walking around. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard thing. But we got to meet things in the middle for some for some reason. We all got to work together. Just like the thing, like, when you're watching Lemon here tonight, he's talking about all this stuff, like, whether the race and all this, the farmer. You know, when you bring people in, say you have one dissatisfied, like, person about a certain thing, but how do you know how others are affected or feel about it? Like, with every issue they have, they always bring in something like these incidents. But anyway, so they're talking about how, the guy was talking about how, how Trump is, you know, they all talk about it, <clears throat> day in, day out, how he's divided and all that kind of stuff, okay, I understand, you guys ain't, ain't gonna bend if you believe that he's doing it and all that kind of stuff, but no one man, no one president is gonna stop racism whatsoever, Obama couldn't do it, Trump couldn't do it, Bush couldn't do it, Clinton, nobody, Reagan, the next person, no matter how you, if it happens, it happens, and we're magnifying it. We're going after a little bit of like a little bit of cases and everything, and we're we're putting it in people's mind, and that's a whole different show. I I don't I mean go look at it, research it yourself. If you if you think that 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 you know it's not having an effect, trust me. I did these videos for a while, and I, I went I went through all these cycles like you know when I was out there, like I was saying new season, all that kind of stuff. I was getting it. But I decided to talk to people. Everything I, I, I had enough of it. I said, well, what, what really is the problem? What really is the problem? You know, because it's not, it's the heart. Forget your skin and all that kind of stuff. It's the heart, it's the brain. It's, just, it's the thinker, it's the soul. It's how you, how you react to everything. You know, you could, you could dwell on all this kind of stuff. You can come up with all these hypotheses and all these, these things that um that just take away your happiness and everything like that we did a video here yes we we talked about joy and and depression or stuff like that cannot live you know in the same house you know who said that steve harvey he had a, a guy on there i guess he's a race car driver or something he plays drums and uh you know he was he listens to metal to like chill him chill you know chill out and everything like that and, you know, in the opener, I, I talked about, like, you know, how, you know, good good leaders or good teachers or good parents, you know, they've been through stuff. They made mistakes. They could tell That's what it's all about. I mean, you want to. I mean, these days, you want a better, you want to you have a better, you know, people want to have a better future in place for their kids. That's what they care about. Deep inside. If you got kids, oh, my God. Like, this guy came out. He's working. He's got to go to work. You know, he's working. Through winter, rain, summer, sleet, everything like that. It don't matter. Twelve foot of snow, you know, gets in his car. You know, really nice guy. Chills out, you know, when he can. Has friends over. The guy, uh, the other two weeks ago, added me and stuff like that. This, this other guy who, who thought, uh, you know, because I said something. He said, oh, he 
don't worry about him. He's he's uptight and everything like that, you know. But but he told me like well, you know who he, you know who he studies with and everything. And I'm like cool. I said there you go. You know next time he's over, I mean I know we're gonna have a good conversation because it's a long story. Anyway, so um, the moon is out, stars are out. Lovely day here, Memorial Day weekend. We'll uh, elaborate more. I, I, I go one day at a time here. Listen to the show. Try, I mean, we're, we're, we're progressing as we go. We're, we also want to like, see if we can get people here. We don't want to waste too much time either. We really don't. I mean, I don't mean it as a knock or anything. It just messes up the rhythm. You know, I like to do it quick and fast. Because people don't have that much time. I can't just sit, sit here like, and just wait. You know, <clears throat> like um, like 20, 30 minutes. And I think people do it on purpose. Because I'm telling them the things that, like, irritate me and agitate me. And they just do it on purpose anyway. You know? So, uh, that's what it feels like to me. I hope I'm wrong. 